Jack Grealish is a player for them, obviously. It gets a lot of attention. I think you mentioned him before. Uh, how impressed have you been this season with him? Exceptional player. I didn't know him before I came here, uh, playing the championship and after. I think he's a man club. Uh, exceptional player, honestly. Good afternoon, Pep. Ben from Sky. Um, first of all, I wonder if uh, you might be able to give us an update on Kevin De Bruyne. Uh, you substituted him in midweek after he took a bang on the head. Afterwards, you said he was fine. Has he suffered any ill effects? No, I don't have. I think it, it's fine, yeah. And Eimerick Laporte is another week closer to fitness. Is he in contention yet to no. be involved? Not yet. Sergio Aguero is one goal away, I don't know if you're aware, from equaling the Premier League record for most goals scored by a foreign player. Uh, one behind Thierry Henry. Does he get the credit he deserves for what he's done in the Premier League, Sergio? I think so. So, um, equal score the same goals, or he will score more goals than a legend than Titi Henry. So, it's uh, an incredible achievement. So, so many, many goals. Like Laporte, Leroy Sane is another player returning to fitness. Now, noise has already come out of Bayern Munich in that they're looking to maybe once again step up their interest in the summer and try and sign him. Until he signs a new contract, if it doesn't happen before the end of the season, is that the point that you accept that it might be better to sell him rather than risk losing him for free? It's a question for Leroy, his agents and the club, so I'm not involved in that. So, the important now is there he has to recover well. This is the most important thing. And after that, uh, he knows what uh, we believe in him, what we think on him. And after that, depends on him and the club. Uh, just one final one. Another one of your young players in the press this week, Taylor Howard Bellis, has been accused of taunting a Scunthorpe player during the match earlier in the week about the fact that he earns more money. Um, did you hear about those accusations? And I wonder, have you spoken to... Taylor about that. I know about that. The Taylor said that is not true. So I believe in the guy. So that's all. Pat Peter from Premier League. Good afternoon. Can I just ask you about playing Aston Villa, a team struggling at the bottom, trying to stay in the Premier League? How how much more difficult is it to play against a team in that situation as opposed to a, a team near the top? No, you have to play with all the teams. Sometimes we are in the top, sometimes in the middle, sometimes in the bottom. So historic club. Fantastic stadium. Uh, they changed the last games. The Aston Villa set up and play more five in the back than four in the back. For maybe for the absent for the unfortunately big injuries they had in the recent last week. So uh, nah, and try to maintain the dynamic that we have. I know Ben's touched on Sergio. I mean, he's 31 years of age now. I'm guessing he, he wants to try and play every single game. How how difficult is it to persuade him to take a rest when you have to? No, no, all the players want to play every single game. When they are fit, they want to play. They want to rest. And Sergio's not an exception. So, And I want the players want to play every single game. And you've 17 games to go. You've got that 14-point gap to close. Can you just compare the pressure of being that many points clear as opposed to in your situation now where you are you're chasing and trying to close the gap the pressure is always the same as try to play good to win the games and you are 14 points behind or in front or 14 mm. points behind in this case one or two points behind Leicester it's the same you have to try to play good every single game in every single competition Pep, how far away is Laporte now He's training every day and finish the training good, in good feeling, no pain. And the day after, before the training, he feels good. Uh, that is a good news. I don't know, honestly, the, the when he will be ready to start to play some minutes, few minutes, but of course it's closer than the last month. I mean, the fact that you've got a week after this game, at the weekend you've got a week, and then you play midweeks, the next two midweeks, would you expect that at some point that he will... I, I wait the doctor. The doctor said, what I see on the pitch, he moves well. So his, his movement, of course, is long time, four or five months. He's not a small guy like, like for example, Sterling, like recover quick, it's a little bit. He needs a little bit more time, but he moves really well. So I think the operation was good. And we, we wait the doctor when say, he can start to play. I mean, the, 
you've been taught, you've been asked questions almost every week about your defence while he's been out. So clearly, getting him back will be a major lift for the team when he eventually is ready. Well, the same with Leroy. So I want all the players back. I have more alternative for specific qualities for every player. So when we need to make a movement in crowd or runs in behind Leroy, it's, it's, it's the best. And of course, have a. Uh, I'm Eric uh, for, for being a left foot, playing the left side, and the way and quick, how good and the quick he settled in this league since he arrived. It's of course it's important for us, uh, but we have to respect the process and 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 when both will be ready, I will be in contention or thinking about to use him. We use them when I believe they must be used. Uh, hi Pep, just uh, back, back on Sergio, what, what do you consider his greatest qualities uh, as a player and, and how has he adapted and changed his game to meet the demands that, that, that you demand of your players? He had that perfectly from the beginning. He's a, a guy in the box, the sense of goal. He can score for everywhere and everything and in all the positions. <laughs> And uh, he's an incredible striker, incredible. Pep, about Aston Villa. Uh, again, they, they changed their, their tactics a little bit with no recognised striker in the week. Is that something we're going to see more and more of? I know you did it in the week as well. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I would think it depends on the opponent, depends on my players, depends on how I'm going to wake up in the morning. So, I don't know. Jack Grealish is a player for them, obviously, it gets a lot of attention. I think you mentioned him before. Uh, how impressed have you been this season with him? Exceptional player. I didn't know him before I came here, uh, playing the championship and after. I think he's a man club. Uh, exceptional player, honestly. Hi, Pep. Um, about Leroy, it, it looked in the summer before his injury like he was going to leave. Has it been awkward or strange being together in this time since? Not at all. Unfortunately, cannot, it's awkward because I cannot see him on the pitch. <laughs> he's in the gym and making recovery. That is awkward for all of us, but not at all. He's a, he's a nice person. Nice. I know him quite well. So I was the guy who pushed the club and convinced him to come here when even didn't play in Schalke regularly. So, yeah, no doubt about him and his quality. But what I said many times in front of you, each one has his own family, desires, dreams, and above all that, I cannot do anything else. Is it not personally upsetting for you, though, like you say, Absol if you made the push to absolutely get Absolutely not. When you are in three years ago, it's different right now, so I'm not the same guy like I arrived here. So for the players, the same. They have a dreams, and after the means, dreams are accomplished, and accomplished, it needs another thing, so I don't know. So now is what I want is come back fit. I said last week he, his knee looks really good. And after that, it's not honestly, it's not my business. So in terms of what the club and the agent and the, the player is, himself wanted in his own future, it's not in my hands. And if he did go, would you have to replace him or do you have the players here, do you think? I didn't think, I didn't think about that. So I'm so concerned. We spoke a little bit uh, what happened this season, the positions maybe you have to reinforce for the next season. But more than that, it's, honestly, it's from cheek, it's not my job. I don't have time to, to think too much about that. I'm so busy.